I want to tell you, everybody, thank you for watching the channel. Thank you for putting up with me. I'm trying to stay away from being that uh, crazy prepper. Oh, now too late. Um, Y'all know my feeling about the word prepper. Um, not a fan of it. Um, basically, a prepper is basically someone's got a closet full of uh, stuff that's collecting dust that they've never even touched. Um, I believe in self-reliance. That's the great term. But how many of you have a buddy bag? What's a buddy bag? I, I, I was like, buddy bag? Makes sense. But is it what I think it is? It is. So, um, disaster relief or any type of situation you got to roll out. And, you know, I'm rolled out. We're going on a job site. Hey, plain and simple, we're not even rolling out for shit hits the fan. We're going to a job site. Um, those of you that don't know, I used to be an electrician. Um, basically retired from that. I'm doing other things. Um, working on other, even more important, better things. So, buddy gets in the car. We're driving down. Shit happens. Balloon pops. Oh, no. I grab my bag. He's looking at me like, uh, hey, not a problem. Guess what? I have an extra bag. Here's some basics for you. Okay. We don't want to get into too much. Yes, there's an extra pew pew with extra ammo and magazines. There's extra fire, shelter, food, water purification. Okay. Having a buddy bag in your vehicle is not necessarily a bad idea, especially if you are traveling with extra people. Those of us that have trucks and SUVs and stuff like that, um, we are able to store that maybe in the bed or in the back somewhere. Okay. So think about it. When you're setting up your preps and when you're setting up your, my bug out bag, um, your get home bag. Oh, talking about get home bags right there. See that? That's right there. That's my 5'11 bag. That's my get home bag. It's just a little, you know, like I said, I'm eight miles away. I get home in an hour and a half. Um, and if it's really windy and cold, maybe two hours. Or I may be walking a lot faster, so I might be home in 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm running. Um, but I digress. So having a buddy bag, having up a system set up that if someone is rolling with you and they don't have their gear, you have something that is like, hey, here's some stuff. Let's go. Uh, something to think about. But that's a lot. So I have to buy more stuff and build. No, no, I'm not telling you to go waste your money on even more bug out stuff. Food. Medical. Water purification. Okay. Don't be stupid. Um, yeah, don't. Okay. So have a buddy bag. Think about that. Having set and something set up and having some extra gear that you might have been. Hey, you know what? Here's an example. I've upgraded my belts from Condor. That's airsoft stuff. Maybe. Uh, from my Condor stuff, I upgraded to Haley Strategic. I never got rid of my Condor stuff. Why? It's part of a buddy bag. So when you upgrade stuff, save your gear, hook it up, save it for a buddy, for an per extra person that you can hand it to. No reason to go out and start spending your money on extra stuff. Stop using being a prepper to buy useless shit that you don't need that you're, I mean, basically you're telling your wife, oh, I have to buy this because I, 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 we're, we're, we're preparing and you're buying useless shit. Stop. You don't need all that crap. If the balloon popped right now, are you going to be sitting there and going, oh God, I wish I would have bought that, uh, man, I wish I would have bought that, that extra bump helmet. No, you're going to be sitting there, man, I hope I have enough food to feed my family. I hope I have enough water purification. I, have, I hope I have enough ways to store water. That's what you need to think about. Stop thinking that you're going to be fighting the, the, the North Korean and Panamanian paratroopers, okay? You're not. 
Prepper fantasy. Stop with the prepper masturbation. Seriously. Okay. Your biggest problem is going to be weather, food shortages, possibly shutting down the government again. You never know when they're going to use the next excuse to shut down everything. Okay. Pay attention. It's not the zombies. It's not the fungus people. Um, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, what is that? Uh, Last of Us. They're fungus people. Um, it's the attack of the killer mushrooms. Um, if you haven't seen Last of Us, I got me. I've never played the video game or anything, but I've been watching the show. I am impressed by it. Personally, I am impressed. I, I like it. Um, I like it a lot. There, there's a couple of things I'm like, uh, no, that was stupid, but that's besides the point. We might do a review on a couple of the episodes and we'll do it from my, my perspective of that was kind of stupid. Um, one, he should have been training that girl how to use a, a handgun and a rifle immediately. Um, anyone in your group, you've got to get them trained up fast. And I know I try to stay away from the pew pew stuff because uh, YouTube in their crazy algorithms. I don't want to have my channel banned before I even get started. Yes, full throttle energy drinks. You're not drinking Kofifi. Um, but with that, thank you for watching. Um, plain and simple. Think about having a buddy bag. Don't use any excuse to buy more stupid shit. Okay. Food, water, medical. That's the stuff you're going to need. Think about it. Watch your six as always. I'm Michael McGregor. Peace and love. I'm out.